On a quiet night far away from city lights, when you gaze up at the sky, you are not simply looking at distant points of light. You are looking across time itself. Many of the stars you see may have died millions of years ago, yet their light continues to travel toward Earth, carrying with it the memory of worlds that may no longer exist. Every star is a sun, and every sun may host planets, landscapes, oceans, and perhaps even beings who look up at their own night skies and wonder if they are alone. The greatest question humanity now faces is no longer whether other worlds exist. We know they do. The question is whether we will ever be able to reach them. The possibility of interstellar travel has inspired philosophers, scientists, dreamers, and storytellers for generations. In science fiction, spacecraft glide effortlessly between stars. Civilizations communicate across galaxies, and explorers travel far beyond the familiar boundaries of Earth. Reality, however, is far more rigid and unyielding. The nearest star system to our own is Alpha Centauri, roughly 4.37 light years away. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, about 9.46 trillion kilometers. That number is almost impossible to imagine. If you were to drive a car at highway speed straight into space, it would take over 50 million years to reach Alpha Centauri. Even our fastest existing spacecraft, moving at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour, would need tens of thousands of years to complete the journey. To traverse such immense distances in a human lifetime requires velocities approaching the speed of light. Here we face the first major obstacle, the laws of physics, specifically Einstein's theory of relativity. According to relativity, as an object accelerates toward the speed of light, its mass increases, requiring more and more energy to continue accelerating. The closer it gets to light speed, the more extreme the energy requirement becomes. To reach the speed of light itself would require infinite energy, something nature itself does not provide. This is why many scientists argue that interstellar travel is impossible. The universe appears to have placed speed limits on its own cosmic highway. However, impossibility has always been a temporary word in human history. For most of our existence, the idea of flying was considered impossible. The idea of sending messages instantly across the world was considered impossible. The idea of walking on the moon was considered impossible. Every impossible dream simply waited for the moment when human knowledge advanced enough to make it real. The first limitation humanity must overcome is the propulsion method we use. All rockets today, including those that powered astronauts to the moon, rely on chemical reactions. Chemical rockets convert fuel into energy through combustion, a process that produces nowhere near the power needed for interstellar travel. Even if we built a rocket made entirely of fuel, stretching thousands of kilometers long, it still wouldn't be enough. The energy density of chemical fuel is simply too weak. To travel to the stars, humanity must go beyond traditional rockets. Scientists and engineers have begun exploring propulsion concepts that do not exist anywhere in our current technological landscape, but which are grounded in real physics. One of the most promising methods is nuclear fusion propulsion. Fusion is the reaction that powers the sun, atoms combining and releasing enormous energy. If we learn to control fusion efficiently, a starship could reach speeds of 10 to 20% of light speed. At such velocities, the journey to Alpha Centauri would take around 20 to 40 years, long, but within a single human lifetime. The greatest challenge is that controlled fusion is still in its infancy, yet research is advancing rapidly. Fusion is not fiction, it is simply unfinished science. Another promising pathway is the concept of light sail propulsion. This type of spacecraft does not carry fuel at all. Instead, it uses a giant, ultra-thin reflective sail that catches photons, particles of light, either from the sun or from powerful lasers on Earth. Light may seem weak, but over vast distances, continuous light pressure can accelerate a spacecraft to remarkable speeds. The Breakthrough Starshot Initiative, supported by Stephen Hawking, has already developed the early designs. The plan is to send tiny spacecraft, each no larger than a computer chip, to Alpha Centauri at 20% of light speed. The journey would take just over 20 years. The prototypes are already being tested. The physics works. What remains is engineering refinement. A third concept involves antimatter. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other completely, turning their mass into pure energy. This is the most powerful reaction known to science. One gram of antimatter produces the same amount of energy as a nuclear bomb. 
If humanity can learn to produce antimatter at scale, interstellar engines based on antimatter annihilation would be capable of extraordinary velocities. For now, antimatter is extremely difficult and expensive to produce. But once again, the obstacle is technological, not physical. Yet even these advanced engines would still require humans to spend decades traveling through space. This raises additional problems. Space is filled with radiation that can damage human DNA. Long-term confinement can degrade mental health. Food production, recycling, and ecosystem stability must be maintained for decades. Solutions are plausible, however. Generation ships could house multiple generations of humans, turning the journey itself into a mobile society. Cryogenic suspension, the ability to place humans into a long, deep sleep, could allow travelers to awaken only when they arrive. Biotechnology may one day slow aging or even stop it entirely. The challenges of survival in deep space are severe, but none of them break physical law. They break our technological ability. For now. However, some scientists believe that trying to travel through normal space is the wrong approach entirely. Instead, we may need to change space itself. If we cannot move faster through space, perhaps we can make the distance shorter. Einstein's equations allow for the possibility of wormholes, tunnels through space-time that connect two distant points. Traveling through a wormhole would be like stepping through a doorway rather than crossing a desert. The problem is that wormholes collapse instantly unless kept open by a form of matter with negative energy density, something we have not yet learned to produce or stabilize. Another theoretical breakthrough is the warp drive, first proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre in 1994. Instead of moving the spacecraft forward, the warp drive contracts space in front of it and expands space behind it. The ship itself does not move. Space moves. Since relativity places no speed limit on space itself, this method could allow faster than light travel without violating physical laws. Early calculations required impossible energy, but later refinements have significantly lowered the energy requirements. The work drive remains theoretical, but it is no longer considered science fiction. It is considered early stage exploratory physics. If humanity ever masters interstellar travel, the consequences will be existentially transformative. It will change our relationship with the universe. It will redefine what it means to be human. It will erase borders, reshape civilization, and possibly allow us to encounter other forms of life. It will force us to grow intellectually, spiritually, socially. Humanity is still young. Our species has existed for only 300,000 years. Our civilization has existed for only 10,000 years. Modern science is only 400 years old. Spaceflight is only 60 years old. To look at our present technological level and declare interstellar travel impossible is like a prehistoric hunter looking at the ocean and declaring that no one will ever cross it. The impossible is simply the next milestone that has not yet been reached. So, is interstellar travel truly impossible? Number. The universe does not forbid it. The laws of physics do not forbid it. The challenges are vast, but they are challenges of knowledge, engineering, patience, and imagination not barriers woven into reality itself. The stars are not unreachable. They are simply waiting. Humanity is at the beginning of its story, not the end. One day, whether in decades or centuries, the first human-made starship will leave the solar system deliberately, not accidentally. One day, the light of a distant star will fall upon human skin. One day, the silence between the stars will no longer be empty. The dream is not impossible. The dream is only waiting for us to grow into it.